Welcome back to Alan Wake. And the last one, I just jumped out of that window because uh, cops were chasing me. As you can see, there's still flashlights and stuff trying out to get me. So, um, trying to make my way to the train depot. There's a railway over there, I see, so that's probably where I'm off to. Uh, manuscript page. Another one. Okay. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. That's weird. Okay. I can hear that train. Oh, what's this? Flares. Excellent. Gonna need those. I guarantee it because I have no weapons on me. I've got flash grenades and flares. That's all I've got. And would you look at that? I'm absolutely sick of not having a weapon. Oh, ho, revolver ammo. Oh, yes. Okay, disregard what I just said because I just found me a gun. <coughs> Leave me alone. Oh, shit. <coughs> Take that. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. All right. That's cool. That wasn't too bad. So yeah, I got lights here. That's pretty handy. Darkness controls the Taken. So now this story just gets weirder and weirder. More and more intense. I'm just going to turn all these lights on. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need them pretty soon. Batteries, ammo, it's all coming into place. Shotgun, oh, I like that. What I don't like is these guys. Take a shotgun. I should have gotten out of there very quickly. That did not work out. Oh my god, they're on the roofs and everything. Holy crap! Take it! Just barely managed to beat those guys. It was not easy. Now let's see, there was another hut. Yeah, just over here. In light, you can hurt them. Yeah, I kind of figured that out already. <laughs> Alright, now to continue my way to that train depot. How the hell do I get out of here? There's another hut over there. I'm guessing there's going to be more supplies. Or just a coffee thermo. Most weird places you find these things. I 
Okay, so I've got 19 revolvers, 10 shotguns, 2 flares, and 3 flash grenades. That sounds uh, like it's not going to be enough, if you ask me. Oh, more ammo, okay. That's a little reassuring. Hello? He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow. But she had called me. I could see a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Follow. Okie dokie. So I'm going to have to cross these railway tracks, and uh, for some strange reason, I think a train's going to come out of fucking nowhere and destroy me. Train. What I tell you? Yep, there we go. Trains are trying to kill me. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Oh my God! I need to get off this fucking bridge. <laughs> oh holy crap! God. I can't believe that. The opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Alright, I think I need to try use some flash grenades around there. Or some flares or something to uh destroy those fucking things. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path okay I'm ready for this time As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. A heavy duty flashlight, that's nice. That is excellent. Oh boy, here we go. I have a heavy duty flashlight, you got some fucked. Yeah. Sorry if you can hear my uh, dog in the background going crazy. He wants to play and I'm just not having it. Birds again. He's not going 
down. He was a tough one. My word. Nothing of use in here. Which is odd considering it's a warehouse. Oh well. In light you can hurt them. I know that. Is this the way to the... This isn't the way to the train depot. Ah, flares. Excellent. Ammo. Batteries. It's all good. Ah, I can't pick up any more batteries. Oh well, I think I have enough to do me for a while anyways. Alright, so... Let's see. Find a vehicle. Okay, that's what I'm up to right now. How am I going to find one around here? Can't jump up there. This place is most confusing. been up here. I don't go through here. But the radar is telling me to. We take the facts of our existence for granted. Unaware that they're merely a Oh, a door. Didn't Just see that. Covering the vast cosmos of madness and horror. Missed that nearly. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. In night springs. There's a car over there. Holy fuck! Are you kidding me? Oh, holy shit! That fucking maniac! I don't believe it. Okay, let's try that one more time. This guy's fucking insane. It's the tank of these... Oh, no, it's not one of those guys driving. This guy, it's just driving on its own. Yeah, 
to go. We'll go. Flashlight is damaging it a little. I expect it to be um, a good bit more difficult, but uh, that bulldozer found it very hard to be uh, a little more agile and couldn't really get me very easy. You know, I was usually able to dodge it, so it wasn't that bad, but it was fucking unexpected. <laughs> driving. Alright, okay, I think I'll leave the episode here and uh, I'll catch you guys on another one. That was uh, very unexpected, if I may say. This door's locked. Alright guys, I'll see you in another episode.